All right, ladies and gentlemen, please, please, please give a warm welcome. He has a Tuesday show uh, called Dan Joe Charles at the Shanty, and he writes uh, Joe on Joe Para Talks to you. Please give it up for my good friend Dan Licata. Do some stand What's that? What's that? Thank you so much. Oh, man, it's good to be here. Uh, I'm feeling good. I just celebrated my birthday. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I got this fun little tradition I like to do on my birthday every year. What I like to do is I like to uh, take four Adderall and do an escape room by myself. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm nuts, man. I'm nuts. I'm like, uh, I'm like uh, Bam Margera, right? It's like, uh, what will I do next? Uh, whatever the fuck I want, right? <laughs> Also going through a bit of a rough patch right now. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been kind of a stressful year, if I'm being honest. Uh, you know, uh, I'm always stressed out at the beginning of the year. I'm always stressed out the whole month of January, stressing out about Groundhog's Day, right? It's like, <laughs> this little fucker going to see the shadow? Is he not going to see the shadow? The suspense is Hitchcockian, you know what I mean? But, um... <laughs> But, uh, you know, even still, I think they could up the stakes a little bit, right? I think they could add more rules to Groundhog's Day. Here's what I think they should do. I think they should put out a red pill and a blue pill, right? <laughs> and if the Groundhog eats the red pill, then Ben Shapiro and six UFC fighters replace the Supreme Court, right? <laughs> uh, but, but... If he eats the blue pill, then Cardi B and the Queer Eye guy, so... Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, fingers crossed uh, Puckatani Phil is woke, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I've, been having, uh, I've been having fucked up dreams uh, lately, uh, probably because of my uh, CTE. I've had over uh, 400 concussions in my life, uh, including my birth. It was supposed to be a water birth, but my mom forgot to fill the hot tub with water, so... Uh, yeah, so uh, so I've been having fucked up dreams. Uh, I had this dream the other night that my girlfriend cheated on me with Jackie Chan, which, um, listen, if your girl cheats on you with Jackie Chan, you pretty much got to chalk that one up to a loss. You know what I mean? Because what are you going to do? Even if you pull a gun on the guy, what's he going to do? He's going to kick the gun out of your hand, kick you in the face, then you'll fall backwards through a table where four old men are eating uh, prawn soup, right? That's... <laughs> For the Chan fans, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, my girlfriend, uh, she's she's uh, very short uh, and has uh, three sisters and two brothers. My mom, also very short, also has three sisters and two brothers, which uh, I know Frood thinks we all want to fuck our moms, but um, uh, but I would never do my daddy like that, right? That's uh, that's his, you know what I mean? Uh, I. Uh, I go break guy code, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I don't know about I don't know about fruit, but I do know that uh, all all girls are like Frodo, right? They don't get the ring, they go cuckoo. So uh so uh so I, I finally did it. I finally uh sacked up and proposed to my girlfriend. Um she did not say yes. Uh yeah. Uh, it's kind of tough, man, cuz uh me me and my girl don't always see eye to eye on a lot of key issues, right? Uh, for example, she's anti-vaccine, and I can't get enough of the stuff. I love vaccines, right? <laughs> my doctor tried to tell me, uh, I think you've had enough, friend. I was like, uh, shut up and vax me, bitch. It's my Bitcoin. I spend it how I like. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm still in high school. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a 29-year-old uh, high school senior. A lot of times people ask me, uh, why are you still in high school? Well, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Also, uh, no child left behind. And, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, summer school just started. And uh, I know there's this uh, stigmata attached to summer school, right? Like, uh, uh, it's, it's all the worst kids. Well, it's also all the worst teachers, right? <laughs> They're not sending their best. They got the janitor teaching uh, sex ed, just uh, sucking on a broom handle, being like, uh, you kids get it yet? Um, not yet, Chip. Anyways, um, they want me to be in the uh, summer school play, uh, which um, did you guys hear about that school that did Alien for their school play? Okay, uh, so we're doing Alien vs. Predator Requiem, and... Uh, <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm kind of um, I'm kind of the comic relief of the play. I play a Vietnam vet, and uh, I'll do one, I'll do one of my lines for you. This is my first line of the play. I walk out on stage. I go like this. I go, uh, <laughs> PTSD. I can't even get these uh, fucking flashbacks in high def. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> my first line, and. Uh, my friend, uh, my friend Burby, he plays uh, Aziz Ansari in the play, uh, <laughs> loosely based on the film. Anyways, uh, Burby walks out at one point, and I go like this. I go, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is a different type of predator. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, so tickets are on sale now, and uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. I'm Dale <laughs>